G'day YouTube. Let's have a look at what's inside this Microsoft wireless Bluetooth mouse. So it's got two normal buttons, a mouse wheel, mouse click, and then it's also got left and right clicks with the mouse, and just a side button here as well. I think it's a back, back one. It's got a um, Bluetooth receiver that neatly fits inside sort of that center there. Um, and it's powered by a single AA battery. That tab's always a pain to, to get out, but there we go. So, not sure where the screws are, but they're usually hidden in, in sort of either under a sticker or in under this surface here. Let's have a look what's under the sticker. So that's not actually a screw, that just looks like a... That looks like a, the, the part where this was injection molded, so where all the plastic would have been shot into the into the um, mold and then just sort of broken off. Alright, so let's see if there's screws underneath this little rubber. So it's got these two front and back sort of exposed rubber pads um, just so they're the actual wear and tear compa um, component as the mouse moves back and forth on, on a desk. Okay, so there's nothing there. Let's see if there's anything on this one. Oh yeah. There you go, that's got a small little Phillips screw there. Okay, awesome, that's loosened up. Oh great, that's loosened up the top. And again, this is just a single injection molded part. And just using that flex of the plastic um, to act to push the buttons underneath. So uh, it's got a few more screws there um, and the left and the right mouse button there sort of exposed. Right, so let's undo these screws. Okay, so that seems to have loosened the bottom, but only the back. It's interesting because there was two screws there. I wonder if it's held together here. There we go. Now oh, that comes out. Oh yeah, so there's a little little tab there that just holds it together. So as, as these two components clip together, there's a little little shelf almost there that just holds the bottom of that board. All right, so this is just the actual shell of the mouse. It's made up of, I think, three different parts. So the right side and the left side have sort of a rubber, a grippy coating, um, just to be able to grip it better. And then this is just um, like a standard plastic cover there. And that'll just be a little channel. So translucent um, plastic that the LED would shine into and that would guide it through to come out on the other side of the top here. So I guess there'll be a corresponding, yeah, so there's an LED just there. That's interesting. So the LED shines down and then travels about 10, 15 millimeters and then gets shot up. It's interesting, there's room on the board here that didn't just move the LED over there and just go for a straight channel up. It's just a bit of extra plastic there, but there must, must be a reason, just the way that's held in place, or something else covering it. Alright, so we've got the actual boards inside the mouse. So a big piece of up the top. Alright, so it's got a couple, couple of um, crystal oscillators there that would be determining frequency, so I assume this one here is probably for the transmission, there's an antenna just there, that channel, the exposed copper channel. Um, so that would determine the frequency 
to transmit at um, that the USB receiver would then receive. Another one over there and a bunch of other components that might be, yeah, that's what the photo sensing component is on the bottom, so that's probably all for that circuit there. Um, just a little controller there, and then two bottom PCBs with tactile buttons, so left and right button press. There's an LED there that would shine through the wheel, so the wheel will probably have little slits in it. And on the other side, there'll be a um, photo transistor or a, or a light sensitive component that would be able to sense the changes in that light. So we'll see if I can take that out actually. Okay, there we go. So that's, that's easy. The wheel comes out. Yeah, so inside through there, it's just got those little slits. So as the wheel turns, those slits either block or let the light through. So the LED here then just shines straight into this and that's the way the mouse sort of measures um, the on off pulsing of it and converts that to a scroll sort of up and down. And then that middle button there would just sit on, yeah, so it would sit on this little tab and this little tab would just push it down um, for that center mouse click. And I assume this little paddle here, there'll be, uh, so there's, Hard to see, we'll dig into it. There's a couple more switches in there um, that as this wheel gets pushed left and right, those two paddle, or that paddle corresponds, uh, pushes a button that corresponds to sort of either way. All right, let's undo some more screws, dig in a bit further. So that's just the shell there. Okay, so this is okay. this up here is just a little um, tape just to insulate that top surface because it's it's metal, exposed metal. Um, likely that's done because there's a spring on the inside, so that's for for this USB part that that sits in. So from here to the rest, there's a little click, and then there's just spring tension. So when you press this button, there you go, it shoots that out. Um, so what they would have done is there's just a little spring um, or a piece of bent metal that pushes onto that and pushes it out. So that's why they just put a little bit of tape on top to insulate that so it doesn't make contact with the PCB and short anything. Pretty complex part. I think it's, yeah, this is glued on later or welded on later. And it just has a bunch of standoffs up here to hold that top PCB and then a bunch down here at an angle to hold these front PCBs on. So nice sort of mechanical mounts onto there. All right, let's dig into the actual PCB. So kind of looked at the top before, missed the main part. So the main part here is actually the LED. So that'll, we can undo that as well actually. So this LED up here would just be transmitting light down onto the surface. And then that light would be bouncing from the surface guided by this sort of plastic enclosure that I'm just taking off. And that light would then be measured by the photo sensor here. So LED shoots the light at an angle, that light bounces off the surface and comes straight back up into the sensor. The sensor is effectively a, a poor resolution camera that just takes snapshots periodically and then compares the texture of the ground and then it can actually determine how much and in which direction um, the mouse has actually moved. So that seems just like a standard LED. Um, and then this here is just a switch, a small little on off switch that doesn't seem to be anything else on this board. I think they just soldered it onto this board um, and put a screw hole there because that just mounts nicely. So it's just a convenient way to mount that. Um, and we can try to give this a go, see if it'll still work. So it should. Yeah, there we go. So. Right. Switched on for a sec there. It's probably just realizing this isn't reading anything useful, so it's probably gone back off. Oh, maybe just a poor connection. Um, yeah, there you go. So the, the blue blue LED shines into the ground or the, the, the bottom surface and then it mounts and the sensor would read it. 
And again, as I mentioned, there's just the status LED up the top. All right, that just looks like a little IC chip over there, a couple of regulators. Um, so these regulators are probably, actually it's a diode and regulator, that'll probably just regulate the voltage for the photosensor just to make sure it's uh, really stable, filtered. IC chip there, um, okay, that's probably again for the transmission, might even just be doing all of the processing there. So had a look at this before already, um, this bottom board, okay, so the two switches there, you can see that a little bit better. So this is where the mouse wheel comes through on the top. But if you look at the bottom there, that just sort of allows those switches to be pushed um, left or right, corresponding to that movement. So this bottom PCB here is actually not really secured in place. Um, it's just held in by the ribbon cable. So these two ribbon cables, that's a neat way to do it, I guess is just use it mechanically to actually mount the boards together, but also electrically for electrical connection there to, to transfer the data. So most likely there doesn't seem to be much on this bottom board. Most likely this bottom board is just reading analog signals. So on off, um, well, not on off, but the change in voltage um, of the switches and also the, the change of the photoresistor, which would have a lot more changes than just on and off. And that's probably being read maybe up here. This might be an analog to digital converter that then sends it that signal over to the microcontroller um, and then that senses sort of the change in states of all these buttons and the LED um, resist of the LED transistor um, corresponding again to sort of the scroll of the wheel. I think that's it and then you just got these uh, sort of battery terminals um, just up here or little springs just soldered straight onto the board um, that conveniently fit into the two oh, this is open but conveniently fit into that slot there and then the case itself is what holds the battery in place so there isn't that much stress on this and again same as this this actual connection here this isn't mechanically very secure but once it sits once it's mounted onto this plate um, it's actually bolted to the plastic or screwed to the plastic so it doesn't it doesn't move around too much awesome that's probably it that's um that's a Microsoft wireless mouse, so now you've seen the inside of it. Thanks for watching.